Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best class up for the Hades LMG on Black Ops 4. But before we get into this video, I just want to say a quick thank you to every single one of you for the support recently on the channel. It has been absolutely insane. In the past like 7 days or something, I've been like 3,000 subscribers and I've hit 12k, 13k, 14k and I'm just hit... 15k a few hours before making this video so i just want to say thank you so much for every single one of you who are new and of course every single one of you who have supported me uh since the beginning i do really appreciate it but anyway uh also before we get into this video i want to give a quick shout out to the person who gave me this gameplay in the background his name is juggernaut or jack and he has a youtube channel of his own and he is currently at around about 1950 subscribers so if every single one of you guys could just go ahead down in the description click on his channel and just give him a sub and get him to 2k that'd be absolutely amazing um literally he's like 50 or so away from 2000 subscribers so if every single one of you could just go and take three seconds out of your day just to go ahead and drop him a sub it'd be much appreciated me and him would really appreciate it and it would make his day to hit 2k today but anyway um so yeah as in today's video, I'm going to be doing a best class setup on the Hades LMG. As you can see, once again, the gameplay in the background is a double nuclear. So it's pretty insane, pretty good gameplay. It's really, really good, very, very, very impressive. And it really shows how good this weapon can be um, in the right hands and with the right attachments and stuff like that. So yeah, before we get into this video, um, well, before we get into the class setup, I'll leave a class up uh, timestamp right now on the video. So if you, if you guys want to just skip forward a few minutes to the class setup, then that is totally understandable. But before we get get into the class up i just want to talk about why this gun is one of the best weapons in the game now every single time i do a best class of a video or a best weapon video uh, i always do i always include this weapon because it is definitely one of the top weapons if you guys remember from call of duty ghost i know a lot of people didn't like that game i personally really enjoyed it but you guys might not remember because not many people really enjoyed that game but if you guys do remember um this is basically like a remake of the chainsaw from call of duty ghost with the operator mod on the operator mod basically gives it a crossbar attachment and basically, if you guys remember from Call of Duty Ghost, it's basically the chainsaw, the remake from that game. Uh, as you can see right now, this is what the um, operator mod does. When you aim in, you don't aim in into the iron sights. You aim in uh, to an like, increase zoom kind of hip fire. So it is very, very good. It's really, really accurate. It's one of the most accurate uh, things in the game, I think. It's like a laser machine, honestly. When you stick this operator mod on it, it is absolutely insane. It's one of the best operator mods in the game, in my opinion. It is very, very good. But anyway, I'm going to quickly show you guys the class up he uses in this gameplay to get himself the double nuclear. So I re definitely recommend you guys trying this class out um, a go because obviously it got him a double nuclear, so it must be good. So as you can see right now, he uses the haze, of course, with rapid fire, hybrid mags, FMJ. Um, he uses only Gunko as one of the perks and he uses stim shot, as you can see there. And then last but not least, of course, he uses the operator mod, which is called the crossbar. Now, as you can see here, um, hybrid mags basically gives you a faster reload time and an increased ammo capacity. Now, I definitely recommend you guys using this attachment on any weapon that has it on. Personally, any weapon that has this attachment on, I will always, always use it because it's basically like two attachments in one. As you can see, it gives you a reload, a faster reload time, and it increases the ammo. So it's basically like um, extended mags and a fast mag. Uh, in one attachment and then obviously uh, as well he uses the FMJ now a lot of people don't really use FMJ but I was talking to him a little bit about why he uses it I wasn't quite sure why because personally I haven't used it myself um, I, I used it in the beta I remember I think um, but I haven't actually used it in the full game but I was talking to him about why he uses it and basically as you can see there it penetrates and damages armor so Basically in this game, one of the gear options is an armor and basically it will give you 200 health instead of 150. So it's kind of overpowered when say, let's say for example, you run around a corner and you find that you shoot an enemy, but he has armor on, he's going to have 50 more health than you. So it's going to take a few extra bullets for you to kill him than it is for him to kill you. So this basically eliminates that um, disadvantage. So if you ever come up against anyone with armor, it will literally, in like one bullet, it will completely destroy their armor and it will be like they never ever had it. 
and obviously as well he has rapid fire on this weapon already has a pretty fast fire rate for an LMG it's really really good and then uh, rapid fire obviously makes it even better because it will give you a faster fire rate so that means you're going to be putting more bullets out per second than the enemy and this will basically give you a massive advantage because you're going to be doing a lot more damage to them than they are with you um, and one, last but not least uh, the Gunko as the perk 2 he only has one perk on this slot and um, basically basically Gunko is really really good for LMGs I use it on every single LMG class because as you guys know or as you guys might not know uh, with Gunko basically what it allows you to do is it will allow you to reload whilst running and this is very very good for LMGs because obviously LMGs have the longest reload time in the game so if you have Gunko on it will allow you to run and reload at the same time so basically if you're in a sticky situation and you have to reload then you can get away quickly and then reload your bullets and then you'll be good to go um, and last but not least as well the stim shot um, gear Basically, that basically allows you to shoot whilst healing, which is very, very good, and it's very helpful with LMGs as well because they are quite slow, heavy weapons. So it's very helpful for you to be able to shoot at the same time as healing. And obviously, I forgot to mention the crossbar attachment. I've already mentioned this a little bit, but it is definitely one of the best um, operator mods in the game, in my opinion. Now, the reason for this is because it will allow. It has a really, really good accuracy. Literally, just. You try this out and you will not regret it at all. In this gameplay, it's a double nuclear. Um, right now, as you can see, he's on. He's already on a nuclear kill streak. He's got some unstoppables. Absolutely going in with this class. Absolutely shredding, as you can see there. Easy two kills. And there's an example for stim shot right there. You can re you can regenerate your health really really quickly. Um, a lot quicker than normal. So it's definitely one of the best. Um, gears to use in my opinion if you don't want to use stim shot then you guys should, should go ahead and use cosmic device instead that's what i use personally i personally use uh, cosmic device just because what that basically does is it allows you to get your score streaks a little bit faster i believe it takes about 100 to 200 points um off your points needed to get certain kill streaks so it is very very useful very very handy and also i want to mention quickly that he is using battery in this gameplay and basically as you guys know, the War Machine, it is really, really good on this game. If you can utilize it properly, it is very, very good. Um, you have to be pretty good and clever with using it, though. Like As you can see now, he's, he's putting it in certain spots where he thinks enemies will be. Sometimes it obviously doesn't work because they might not be there. But if they are there, then he will pick up quite a lot of kills of it. Um, uh, but yeah, that's been pre pretty much it for the gameplay. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay. Once again, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Juggernaut. His links will be down in the description below. He's so close to 2,000 subscribers. Make sure to give this class up a go. And also make sure to subscribe to me as well. If you guys did enjoy and want to see more videos like this, definitely recommend you guys giving this class up a go. Once again, that has been it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.